Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm taking a look at InstaWP. InstaWP is an online service that allows you to quickly spin up temporary WordPress sites. I've been using it for two weeks. There's a deal on AppSumo. I'm really enjoying it, so I wanted to share with you what it's about and how it works in case it's something you might be interested in. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. This is the InstaWP website. In a minute, we'll look at the dashboard where you create and manage sites. But first, I wanted to do kind of an overview. Here are some of the features. Very fast site creation. You don't have to worry about a server. The SSL certificate is all set up when the site is created. And a shareable domain is mapped automatically. You can pick your PHP and WordPress version, and it comes with a number of tools. If we look at the pricing, there's a free plan, okay, which is five sites, and it's kind of limited. You have two days and 500 megabytes of space, but for trying it out, it's fine. And then they have a personal plan, which is 15 active sites and 5 gigs of space. And the deal on AppSumo is a modified version of this personal plan. Then there's a pro plan where you have more sites and more space and more features. And then an agency plan. And these larger plans would probably be pretty attractive to theme or plugin developers for spinning up quick test sites for users. So kind of a pre-sales demo site. There's a notice here. They got funding from Automatic. So that's good news because it probably means they're not going to go away anytime soon. If we look over at the AppSumo page for InstaWP, we go down and take a look at the plan. This is a one-year deal. Okay, it's not a lifetime, but it renews at the same price each year. So in this case, now it would be $49 a year. So there are 15 active sites, and normally they expire after seven days but you can set them to reserved and then they won't expire and you can just delete them manually. You get five gigs of disk space, which isn't a huge amount for 15 sites, but that's probably sufficient for temporary sites that you spin up for testing. You have FTP access if you need it. You can save five templates. You can have 15 sandbox sites and their advanced configuration and domain options. I signed up two weeks ago, and this is the dashboard, you know, after you've redeemed your AppSumo coupon or purchased from their website after the AppSumo deal is over. On this page, you see your list of sites. This is the time to expire, and so it's kind of a countdown here. You can see there's one that I reserved. This is how much disk space they're using. You can add tags if you want. Here you can, you know, launch into the site, go into the admin. Here you can set a site as reserved. And here you can save the site as a template. And then there's some advanced options here. You can view creds, migrate, export to local WP, delete the site, you can clone the site, you can access it with FTP, or map the domain. The domain mapping feature that comes with AppSumo is not like regular CNAME. I haven't tried that, so I'm not 100% sure what that is. Okay, then here you have a templates page, and you can see I've saved a site as a template. You can edit it. You can enable deployment with Git. You can create a site from the template, or you can trash it. One of the things I wanted to show you here when you create the template or you edit it, you can enable sharing. And when you enable sharing, then you get a link that you can share. And when someone clicks on that link, then it'll spin up a sandbox of this template site. So this is what theme and plugin developers are doing when they want to give demos, you know, like pre-sale demos. Okay, and so there are options here on how, you know, authentication and different things are going to go. So this is kind of a cool feature. 
the AppSumo deal just comes with 15 sites. So if you were a theme or plugin developer, you might want a larger plan. But I could see using this just to set up a site for a friend or someone to test a plugin or theme and then giving them the URL where they could go and log in. So this is kind of cool. Then there are configuration options. You can set the PHP variables, the WordPress options, and you can add a slug for a theme or plugin from wordpress.org and it will install that for you when the site is spun up or you can add a URL for a plugin and theme. This is something new, Faker. I just saw this today. I think it must be in development, but it looks like it's an option to generate some maybe dummy text or dummy content. Here you can pick which version of WordPress you want and which version of PHP you want. So if I was gonna start testing PHP 8, for example, I could create a default for that. Deployment, I think you can hook up your Git repos here. I'm not 100% sure how this works. This isn't something I've used, so I can't really speak to it. And then there are integrations. The Chrome integration, what that does is that when you go to wordpress.org onto a plugin or theme page, you'll have the option to spin up a test site with that plugin or theme installed. So that's kind of cool. And then the Slack option is when a new site is created, then it'll put a notification in Slack. So if you're a theme or plugin developer, it would alert you that somebody's testing your product. Here it shows your plan usage. So these are announcements, this is a team, and these are things like your account information and whatnot. Now I'm gonna show you how I got started using this quickly. Okay, what I did is I created a new site. I went with the current version of WordPress and PHP 7.4. I just have the default configuration and I gave my new site a name. So here, I'm just gonna call it new. Okay, and then you have the option whether it's a temporary site or a reserve site. And here you can create from templates, but I'm gonna show you kind of creating template site in a minute. So I created the site. You can count the seconds. I think it's about 15 seconds to create a brand new site. Okay, so now we can log in. So what I did is I went and I deleted out these plugins that get installed with WordPress by default. And I went to themes and I deleted out all but the 2022 theme. Okay, then I installed a plugin all in one WP migration. Okay, and then I have a starter site which I've been using on my local host. So what I did is I imported my starter site. And I'm gonna go find the file. Okay, and I'm gonna have to log in again. Now I have a different username and password than they randomly generated, but I use a good password for my starter sites anyway. All right, so now I'm in and you can see that I've got uh, advanced custom fields and custom post type UI, which I use to create the books custom post type. And so I can get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. If we look on the front end, you can see I have a bunch of demo content and I have custom post types. Nothing's been styled or anything. I think I've got the free cadence theme here as a default. I might switch back to 2022 for the starter. I don't know. So I went back to the InstaWP Sites dashboard and I said save as template. 
So this will be new starter site, ACF and CPT UI. Private here, but this shared option, which we talked about a few minutes ago, and save it. All right, so if I look at templates, you see here's the template for my new starter site. And it's just that fast to create a new site. Just click here. I'll just give it a name and create site. Again, it's the same thing. You know, I timed it this morning. It took 15 seconds. So it's really fast. Right, so there it is. If we go back and look at the sites, here's ACF books. It takes a, a little while to add up the site usage, but we can go and visit the site. Okay, and here we are, we have my starter site, just like the template. This is really fast and easy. When you're done with the site and you say, okay, that's it, I don't need it anymore, then you can just go here and delete it. And you see a couple seconds, it's gone. One more thing I can show you here on the site's dashboard is actually if you hover over a site name, you can see which version of WordPress and PHP, but there's also a database editor. All right. And you can view the logs. And there's a code editor. So I've actually used this. You can go in and you can take a file and delete or rename it or open it and edit it. Okay, so that's pretty cool. This has been very useful for me. I've been working in the past on localhost. You can see I have more than 50 sites for testing on localhost. And some of these I haven't logged into maybe for a year. Those would be the kind of things that I should probably delete them out of here. But with InstaWP, they'll just expire if I don't reserve them. And, you know, a few of them I'll keep on localhost, like Cadence or something like that, where I'm doing lots of testing with it all the time. You know, last week I was making a video and it came across a bug. And I can just create a user on the site and give the developer a login. Previously, if I had been working on localhost, I would have had to migrate a site over to a testing site I have as a subdomain. It's not that big a deal, but this is just so fast and easy. So I'm pretty pleased with this. The developer has been pretty responsive to support requests. I've noticed that there are a fair number of articles in the documentation library. Here's the doc library. He's been adding since the last two weeks, I've seen a number of new ones. I realize that my kind of use cases may not be typical. I test a lot of themes and plugins every week. I spin up sites to make videos. So this isn't something that everybody needs. And if you don't need to have a testing site very often and your hosting has a staging site option, then you know you probably don't need this. I'm just really enjoying using it. It's just so easy that I wanted to share it with you. So that's the walkthrough and discussion. There's a text summary of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. I hope you found the video interesting. Thank you for watching.